All right. Well, it looks like we're recording. I would like to say hello from the Puppet Club. The first story I have is about the wood frogs. Now there's wood frogs and there's green frogs and they both live in the forests. But what the wood frogs love is an ephemeral pond. And that means a place that's wet for a while in the year, but then it dries up. And that keeps a lot of year-round water creatures from taking root, so to speak, in the place where the wood frogs breed. And so it provides them some extra protection it's a pretty cush place to get together, sing, play, have their children, let their children grow up. And then, toward the end of the season, as it grows cool again, move on into the forest. Over the winter, the wood frogs love to burrow down under the wood, under the leaves, and make a home for them to sleep. Slowing into torpor, the wood frogs wait out the cold. And they are some of the first frogs in the forest to wake up as early as February, late winter. They sense the coming of warm days. Well, one day, the family of wood frogs woke up. It was late in the winter, with a few first glimmering buds of flowers starting to think about peeping their heads out from the forest. The wood frogs began hopping. Little frog was hopping. Grandma frog was hopping. Uncle frog was hopping, hopping through the forest and they happened to find a cricket. Nom, 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 nom. They ate it up. Little frog saw a slug. Nom, 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 nom. They ate it up. And grandma frog saw a little grub. She ate that grub up. Well, they were headed towards their pond and very excited about it. They were gonna dance and sing and play and have babies and the babies could grow. Well, they got to the pond, at least where it was last year, and it wasn't there. There was no water. Well, for years, the frog family had been coming to the pond, and it had always been full of water. But this time, there was no water. Well, what were they gonna do? What in the world would they do? They had a conference. Some creatures thought that someone was stealing the water. Other creatures thought maybe the pond was made by a beaver and the beaver wasn't there anymore. Some creatures thought that it had just not rained enough that year and there was no water in their old pond. But there was nowhere to dance or sing or make babies or raise their children. So they had a conference. There were many opinions on what to do. But as they were talking, they noticed something in the forest, silver and glimmering. Zoom, 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 it flew through the air. It was a dragonfly. 